Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. Now before we continue, just want to talk a bit about the series and why there's not been an update for a few weeks now. Uh, mainly because I have been so busy doing different things. It's been crazy how many different theme parks I've been to, lots of other different attractions and days out as well. And obviously I have my huge trip of the summer out to Cedar Point over in Sandusky, Ohio. And I had an absolutely incredible time. Uh, there's various different videos from that online and there's still quite a few videos to come uh, in terms of some on-ride POVs, lots of off-ride videos and uh, some more bits from that trip as well. I uh, went over to Bagatelle in France for the day, uh, lots of UK trips. Honestly, it's been a really busy few weeks, hence why I've not really had much time, well hardly any time, uh, to sit down on my computer and dedicate time to play Planet Coaster. But uh, I'm back on track now, coming towards the end of June. Obviously the weather's been absolutely lovely uh, for most part as well, so I've been going out there enjoying in the parks when the weather's great you don't particularly want to be in playing theme park games do you when the weather's nice want to be out at the theme parks and because this channel's more going out and doing the vlogs and things i mean i'm not a gaming channel uh, that's why i don't sort of set upload dates for these planet coaster episodes it's a hobby for me to play planet coaster i love doing it and it's one of those that i didn't want to set upload dates because i want to make sure that i'm doing things of the uh, of the right quality that i want to with this it's a, a good bit of fun but i like doing it properly as well if i'm doing it I I'd rather not film an episode for a few weeks and then really get stuck in and uh, make the most of it. But uh, yeah, just a short one here, but I have actually nearly finished the next episode as well, where I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break from doing this ride and start to put in my Jaws boat ride, which is going to be just next to it. And then I'll sort of work on that and then come back to this, mainly because I think it's important to sort of refresh yourself and think, right, I've done a lot on this attraction. Let's give it a little break now and go and work on something else. I'm sure if you guys play Planet Coast, coaster out there yourself you can relate to that uh, when you're building one project sometimes you think oh my god I've still got so much work to do and uh, I don't want to sort of cheap out on it if you know what I mean I want to make sure that this is done to its full potential so I'm going to do uh, a good part of the facade here probably 50 to 60 percent of the facade in this episode and uh, yeah as we sort of move forward in the next episode i'm going to work on the next attraction and then we'll come back and finish the interior of this the queue line the pre-show rooms and the rest of the facade and exterior uh, of the sides of the building as well so certainly an exciting project but there's just a little update for you on uh, what's happening with this series don't worry uh, there's still lots more episodes to come this part will be getting completed it's not going to be a huge park anyway like i said back at the start of the series uh, it's probably already about two-thirds of the well about half of what I want actually when the Jaws ride and this are in I'd probably say it's two-thirds of the size that I want it uh, it's not going to be a huge studios park but uh, yeah anyway let's get down to business so what am I doing just here anyway I'm uh, putting in the facade on the front of this building now there's going to be a few different facades, mainly three. There's going to be this one here uh, and then the two sides as well. The back of it isn't going to be themed because I don't plan on the park actually going any further behind that. Uh, or it might do with a dark ride show building, but other than that you're not going to be able to see it. So here it's more about experimenting to be honest. I had no real idea what I wanted to do with this facade. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to start putting in a few turrets put a few uh, sort of panes of glass in, a few windows, that sort of thing, and uh, sort of go with the flow. And yeah, after just about this, about 20 minutes here of just messing about with it, it looks quite good. I'm really pleased with it, actually. Uh, my inspiration for this is Tokyo Disney Sea and Tower of Terror there. I absolutely love what they did there with the high tower. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, I rode it for the first time last year and loved it. Uh, the actual ride itself is a lot uh, tamer than the other versions of Tower of terror around the world but the theming is certainly the best of any of them and they're all very highly themed but uh, yeah that one really takes it to the next level i love the exterior it's all sort of themed around an american waterfront instead of like a uh, like your typical hollywood sunset boulevard style hotel but uh, yeah that's my kind of inspiration for this not quite as dark as that i'm going to be using uh, like this nice sort of yellowy cream color what i've been uh, doing a lot of the buildings within this park just because i think that is like the color of this park if you know what I mean. 
and also I want to make sure that this fits in with my nice Mediterranean entrance obviously the skylines in this park is a huge part of it and I didn't want to put in like a big like I don't know maybe color it like green or blue black I, I didn't want to do that I thought let's make it a nice light colored building that blends in with the entrance to the park and you'll see every so often as always when I'm building things I zoom out and then come back into it just to see how it looks because uh, I want it to look great I don't want it to sort of ruin my landscaping of that entrance that we did back in the first couple of episodes you can see there that I actually removed a couple of turrets what I'd put on it's like I say it's all about experimenting no one is gonna get it right uh, you'd be lying if you said that you did something right the first time in this game honestly there's so many different options for for doing things and I like showing you guys what does look like and what, what looks right and what doesn't you know sometimes I'll put something in and I think actually no I don't like that at all but uh, and that's the primarily reason why I want to sort of do a bit of this facade now and then take a bit of a break from this attraction because it's a huge project and anyone that plays the game like I say uh, you'll be able to relate to that because it's so heavily detailed what you can do in this game it's crazy I mean it's not like roller coaster tycoon here where you can build a whole area within a couple of hours and uh, the years go fast and everything with this Honestly, it feels like you're running a, an actual theme park, and that's great, but also it means that it takes a lot longer to do things, and sometimes, I mean, I've got a lot of patience, you've got to have a lot of patience to play this game, uh, but I like to sort of take that little breath, breath of fresh air, so to speak, and, and work on something else and then come back to it. Uh, so that's what I plan on doing here. So like I say, in the next episode, I'm going to start work on the Jaws attraction, uh, which I'm looking forward to. It's going to be a boat ride. It's going to sit right next to this, just on the left-hand side. Uh, so if you have got any suggestions, keep them coming in. And that leads me on to say, I am loving the suggestions for this ride. Uh, I've got so many ideas, thanks to all of you guys. It wouldn't be possible without you to do this. Obviously, I'm the one with the mouse and the keyboard building this, but you guys have some really good ideas for themes, names, and you inspire me a lot so I'm really enjoying all the different suggestions and when we come back to this ride in a couple of episodes time I'm going to be taking on a few of those suggestions to continue with the inside theme in like the lift shafts I know a lot of people wanted to see some doors uh, on the end of the scenes that was planned from the start anyway I just didn't add them in yet because as you can see with something like this you've got to do it in stages that's another reason why I'm yet to block the rest of the building in because I need to work on the rest of the inside and it's much easier without having the roof on everything and uh, and the walls all covered up so yeah, I'm pleased with how this facade's coming on here. You can see I'm just adding uh, lots of like wood onto the front to make it look a bit old school. I mean, I don't want it to look like a really old building, but yeah, it fits in really nice with what I've got so far in the park. Like I say, this will be the tallest attraction inside the park, the biggest show building, the most impressive one that dominates the park that you can see from everywhere. And uh, I want it to look spot on. I'm going to be doing similar things with turrets around the side as well. Uh, like I say, I'll finish the interior first in a couple of episodes' time, and then I'll come back and uh, and do some more work on the facade. I'm thinking about maybe putting some ivy growing up the front. I really want a big emphasis on lighting here. I'm feeling like some orange, some red uh, lighting on the front of this to really give it that nice feel. Like I say, I don't want the outside to sort of feel like it's giving way too much uh, from what's on the inside. But uh, there you go that pretty much takes us to the end of this episode it's just a short one because I wanted to give you a bit of an update on what's happening uh, I know a few people have been commenting on other videos asking me where Planet Coaster is don't worry the series is still continuing and uh, I hope it won't be too long now until I can release the next episode uh, within the week it won't be more than a week until the next episode's out uh, where I'm going to be working on this Jaws ride like I say I've already started working on it in the past couple of days and I'm really pleased with how that's coming on so far it's not going to be a copy of the Universal ride it's not even going to relate highly to the film. It's going to be my own take on Jaws and using some of the items that were available in that studio's pack uh, DLC here on Planet Coaster. But uh, there you go. That brings us to the end of episode seven. As always, thank you very much for watching the series and any other video here on Theme Park Worldwide. As you can see, the facade looks really good in my opinion. It's uh, sort of heavily detailed, but there's a lot more to come and you'll see that in a few episodes time once I've took a little break from this attraction and uh, yeah, we come back to it and do some more work on it uh, in the future, which I very much look forward to. As always, I'm Sean Sandbrook. Thank you very much for watching Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. And uh, that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later.